Hey, how are you doing? This is Dr. India White, motivational speaker, author, life coach. I'm here to talk with you guys today about a topic that I'm very passionate about, and that is on protecting and guarding your energy. Listen, you're going to come across so many different people in life that are going to love you, they're going to love your energy, love what you have to offer. But then you're also going to encounter people that will give you a different type of vibe and you have to be honest with yourself. These people, they don't like you for whatever reason, okay? And your vibe is giving you the reality check, okay? It's letting you know the truth. So with that said, I wanna come in here and let you know that if you are experiencing a situation where you have encountered someone, whether it's you know just people you fellowship with, people you're in business with, whatever, and you've noticed that the vibe is off, believe the vibe. You are not crazy, okay? But what you can do is you can still protect your vibe. For one, you need to realize that you do matter, your voice matters, your place in life matters. Whether or not that person or those people, they received you or not, that does not invalidate who you are or your purpose in this life, okay? Secondly, you wanna make sure that you're surrounding yourself by the right types of people that you can grow and evolve with those people. Listen, if you are trying to make things work with people and you know that the vibe is off and the personalities are different, I don't know, whatever it is, just understand, is it worth investing? If it's not worth investing in, then leave it alone. Okay, sometimes it's just best that you walk away even if it seems like it's a good situation. Because long story short, if you're feeling like it's off and it's awkward to start with, it's probably going to remain that way moving forward. You'll have to do a lot of pretending and acting like things aren't toxic when they really are. Okay, three, make sure that you are eliminating any toxicity out of your life, okay? If you are in a situation where people are not valuing you for who you are, the way that God created you, then you're in the wrong situation. So whatever you do, don't allow them to create a web of toxicity in your spirit, in your mind, okay? Because like I said before, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, if they don't like you, okay, then if you're not their cup of tea, that does not mean that you are not somebody else's preference, okay? You just have to find out who and find out, you know, whether it's a group or whether it's a person, find out who it is that you connect with, that you can be successful with, that you can have relationships with, okay? I think so many times as individuals, we strive to be accepted, we strive to to know people, we strive to be, you know, to have a sense of belonging. But sometimes it's best to just work on yourself, make sure that you are healthy and not surrounding yourself by toxicity, and then be able to move forward to put yourself in a group that is less toxic, more healthy, thriving, somewhere where you can grow. If you're in the wrong environment, there's not a lot of growth that can take place. So with that said, be encouraged, continue to seek out healthy relationships, believe your vibe, trust that if it's toxic, it's toxic, leave it alone. Continue to thrive with those that want you, that accept you, that value your self-worth and put yourself first. Stop trying to accept everyone else, putting yourself last. Take care of yourself by making positive choices in your relationships and in your environments. Okay, thanks so much for letting me share. Please check out my website, wwwindia white Dot com. Let's get connected. Okay. I would love to coach you. I'd love to, you know, collaborate with you on a project or if you need me to come out and speak, I'm here. Have a wonderful day guys. Stay awesome. Stay positive. Protect your love and your energy. Okay. And I'll see you next time.